you are not watching Friday morning <laughs> cartoons. Uh, that was quite elaborate. Uh, it is October, <laughs> a month, I don't know, a month. <laughs> can't even say it. Ghosts and goblins, okay? Oh my gosh. Uh, we're leading into Halloween. Every Friday, Sean Giggy is going to take you to some of the most haunted places in North Texas in a segment called Freaky Friday. Granberry is filled with history, but it's also flooded with ghosts. Pretty much the whole square is, is, is haunted. The whole darn town. Brandy Her should know. She wrote the book about it. Oh yes. She even leads ghost tours to places like the Gordon House. Uh, we've experienced the, the ghosts in here quite often. Uh, and it's a little girl mainly named Audrey. Audrey was just five when she died. She lived here and apparently still does. There is a lot of energy going on in here. Like, like this energy. You have fun with that. Brandy and some friends were investigating when their voice recorder fell off a bench. Uh, at the, oh. she, she kicked the recorder off the bench. Okay, for a lot of you, that video's not changing your mind. You don't believe in ghosts, but neither did this lady. Being in Granberry changes your mind about that. Roxanne Laney says employees at her restaurant have seen a woman in red standing on the stairs. Strange things that have happened. That Gary Farina says his restaurant and the rooms above it have ghosts too. Yeah, as long as they don't break anything, I'm okay. Unfortunately, they did. One of Gary's employees once saw a wine glass fly off the shelf and shatter. Two customers that were there that witnessed it as well. But the one place that really gets people singing is the Opera House. Allegedly, this place is haunted by John Wilkes Booth. Yeah, the guy who shot Abraham Lincoln. History says he was killed in Virginia. Skeptics say he actually escaped and moved here. And supposedly, after he died, he returned to the stage here at the Opera House. Many other ghosts call Granberry home, and Brandy says there's no reason to be afraid of them. Most are just like you and me. Yeah, you know, they're, they're people. You know, just, you know, people want to be talked to nicely, so talk to them nicely. <laughs> because if you don't, it might come back to haunt you. <laughs> In Grandpa, I'm Sean Giggy. You're going to look at that statue differently now. Uh, pretty much every location Sean featured in his story is actually open uh, for business during the day, so you can go check it out if you want. Okay, and for more information on Granbury Ghost Tours, you can head to WFAA.com.